All right, so uh, we're at the launch of uh, the international trailer of uh, Bavad. I want to congratulate you uh, all. Uh, it's, it was a fantastic trailer and we're all curious and excited to see it. Um, actually, speaking of the fact that I have met you uh, like uh, in your uh, previous project, when you were, you had the role of the wolf. Yeah. Uh, you made the sound of the wolf. Yeah. So can you make the sound of the uh, history teacher today? The, the sound of the teacher? A show? Yeah. Uh, In my heart. Like if, if I was a lazy student, as an example, oh. what would you say? What's the dialogue? Uh, I would encourage you to be lazy because that's the kind of teacher I was. But uh, my philosophy of life, I can tell you, my philosophy of life is, but uh, since you're a lady, I would say, Betty, mahal aisa banao ki logo ko mahal yaad rahe. Result nahi. That they remember your image, but not the result you give them. So just create a good image in life. How did how did this role, I mean, the diversity of the roles that you always play, how did this add to you as a person in level and also your career? Career, though, it's a huge feather in my cap, I feel, because I'm working with Nitish Tiwari, sir. This is my third film with Sajid sir and uh, it's been such a long association with Sajid sir. So whenever I work with him, it's like working with family. I always want to make him proud. One is that you do a movie, but I also want him to like, okay, okay Varun, you've done this role well at, uh, on a creative level. I, I always want that. But it's a huge feather, uh, I feel, in my cap that you know I'm getting to work with them. And uh, teaming up with Janvi also was uh, difficult to get her dates initially. But uh, we got it. This is, am I lying about this? Her dates, we had a problem, no? Because she had another film also, no? No, no, she left. But my, she, she, she left, yeah, she left some five, six films. No, no, she left five, six films. But, but, and she was shooting for another film, Mr. and Mrs. Mahi, for which she had to take out dates from there and give us. So thank you, Sharon. Uh, <laughs> what are you? What question? But you gave us factor. I'm telling you my experience. You're telling me the uh, everyone. The experience, yeah. experience. So the intense experience working with her. But overall, in the film, I'm very, very excited that people see the film on 21st July. I have to ask you about your experience, especially that uh, you know, Varun is the is known for his pranks. So how did you survive this experience? How did I survive? I'm still um, barely surviving. But uh, no, but honestly, it's been a lot of fun. I think we got along quite well, and uh, there was a lot to learn from him. He, uh, he, in fact, uh, recently he messaged me and he's like, I think I'm a sweet angel in your life. And I was like, why do you say that? My but yoga teacher told me that. That he's an angel in my life. <laughs> How his yoga teacher knows, I don't know, but you're so lucky. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he keeps giving me advice and comfort and also yells at me sometimes. But. You know, uh, in the Arab world, we say uh, that you never know someone until you travel with them. Oh. So what did you know about the whole cast and team like tell us secret so that so that we can benefit from uh, the knowledge you had during the travels and everything oh he loves chicken yeah he's like yeah chicken and salmon that's one thing i learned about varun like in above average love for chicken i think and how he, one. and how is he i mean as a travel uh, buddy or a uh, companion travel buddy all that he likes pulling your leg. He likes saying random things just for his entertainment. He likes asking anything to anyone, like any question. But uh, but I think that he, he likes making everyone in his life or everyone he interacts with feel special. And I think that's a very sweet quality. I can tell you something about Nitis, sir. Post pack up what he likes to do. He likes playing pool. He likes playing some kind of a game, like a relaxed game. Oh no, not even the pool, even volleyball. And even Candy Crush. Even between. Candy Crush. Yeah. Candy Crush. He's on some level 2 million <laughs> in Candy Crush. But uh, we, when we I have... I can tell because he knows to put, uh, he knows how to put everything into in pool. Uh, uh, he must be uh, uh, very good uh, at yeah. Candy Crush as well. <laughs> well since we started with Bawa, this ended the household. The household, you want some help. Yeah. And Sajid sir, I can tell you that he does not like giving interviews. <laughs> 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 He's been punished today if I have you see my hands. <laughs> you guys being up. Because of the happy history. <laughs> I, I, I like people to see my work. 
there's a brand na uh, heard but not seen yeah. <laughs> what does bawal means to you i mean especially that it's uh, released it's being released directly on amazon prime like why this film no well, i mean uh, it's a great uh, experience to work with this beautiful i'm working with janvi first time very surprised with the commitment towards work never heard anything from our any eps or of any problem actually never told you because you never met but this has been very sweet and very great professional and surprising because uh, with newcomers and young talents sometimes you don't happen to see as producers there are a lot of issues uh, varun ta worked to and but very impressed with janvi just want to see in front of camera first time because you never know, spoken and i don't know when i'll speak next nitesh sir doesn't need an introduction it's an honor that we are working with the or team the other way around so good this opportunity is there and playing for many more opportunities to come like that. honestly we can't wait uh, to watch the movie on the 21st of july and actually i'm very curious i myself uh, at i i would like to ask this question like when i watched the trailer it was amazing okay and i'm very curious because it started with a love story and then like people um in the 2023 outfits and all of a sudden in the world war 2 like is it a time travel or an in- eternal time travel or what exactly it is <laughs> i think you should keep guessing you know yeah. uh, because uh, i would not want to spoil it for my viewers uh, yeah. for sure but uh, everything is there for a reason you know and just to add to your curiosity you know uh, the gas chamber scene which is got a bit talked about you know just think about it why is it in black and white why these are the only two guys who are wearing clothes then speaking of colors how did you manage to do uh, this uh, unity in the visuals uh, shooting in uh, different uh, locations different color palettes uh, like to give it all boils down to the prep you know we always keep the location in mind and the costumes and the color palette in mind when we yeah. get down to designing and a lot of it can be controlled in the di later on so yes uh, when those are those are just technical stuff yeah i know but uh, but i mean uh, uh, shooting in different locations uh, has different atmospheres and and maybe this um, Uh, inspired you on how you imagined the whole characters when well no actually uh, the characters and everything was imagined much earlier and thankfully i traveled to most of these uh, cities so i was pretty much aware of except uh, berlin i was pretty much aware of uh, what these places look like so i mean you write based on your memories you write based on the knowledge which you have and and then go and execute it yeah Okay, uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks. And I hope to see you in your next project. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much.